We have developed a tactile interface which can change the friction coefficient when the users uh, touch it. And uh, an amazing thing with that kind of technology is that you don't feel the real surface, but you feel the surface we want you to feel. And this is good because we can change the friction coefficient or if it's rough or sleepy uh, when you touch it, depending on what you are doing with this uh, interface. This device is based on vibration because with the vibration of the surface, you can change the friction that the user will feel. The vibration of this surface is something like one micrometer in amplitude, which means if you take one of your hair, you slice it into 100 parts, you will have the, the same size as the amplitude of vibration. And to create those vibrations, we use something like this. It's a piezo electric actuator. It's based with, uh, it's made of uh, piezo electric ceramics. And uh, piezo electric ceramics uh, have the ability to change uh, electrical energy into mechanical energy. This means when I put a driving signal on my actuator, I have a motion on it. And with this motion, I can change the friction coefficient uh, that we feel. And we can pass from normal friction of the surface between the finger uh, to a frictionless contact. We can use that kind of technology almost everywhere. Because nowadays, uh, there is a lot of electronic devices and we interact with it. But you have only the visual and auditive feedback. And now, with that kind of technology, we can add the tactile feedback on all computers, smartphones, ATMs, when you need to take money, or, or something like this. Another interesting thing is for people with disabilities, for example, for blind people, because we can imagine to draw a friction picture and help them in their usual life.